We're here today at Makes London Studio to talk to Ken Shuttleworth and John Puttick, who heads up the Beijing practice. I'm keen to find out about the expansion of Make in China. So Ken, when did you set up the China office and why? I was set up in 2008, um, that was a year after Northern Rock's problems in 2007 and during that time we decided we needed to look around the world for, for more work in case it all went uh, pear-shaped here and uh, John wanted to go and live there um, so we thought, you know, let's just see if, it, see if it works. So John went out in 2008. It's part of the excitement of being there, I think, this sort of big complex projects. Um, and we're able to do that with the team we've got in China and also working together with the office in London uh, which lets us draw on the experience that we have in London and, and all the architects here as well. Um, so I think we're really looking to achieve that kind of quality and uh, rather than necessarily a certain size. So people coming over from the UK, um, they help bring the kind of culture of the office and an understanding of the type of design work, what we're trying to achieve, what the aims are. Um, and then obviously local people um, have uh, certainly the language skills in China is really important, but also sort of culturally, and they add also a sense that sense to the office too, sort of culturally how we fit in with the design work there. Um, so it's a good, it's really important to have that balance. And so I suppose that helps translate the the essence and the philosophy of make to to work that comes out of the Chinese office mm -hmm. and the office in Hong Kong. What key projects are you working on at the moment, John? Uh, well, we've just finished our first uh, two projects. So one uh, is an exhibition uh, centre um, on the coast near Beijing in a city called Weihai. It's on an island of reclaimed land um, and it's the first building on that island facing out to sea. And that finished, it opened in May. Uh, so that's very exciting for us, our first project in the mainland. Uh, and also in Hong Kong, we've just finished uh, an art gallery, which is within an existing warehouse building. Um, and that opened in time for Hong Kong Art Fair, which was a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so that, that's a great start for us. And then we've got much uh, bigger projects on the way now. We have um, some quite large buildings in Chengdu, uh, office building and a hotel, uh, another hotel we're working on in uh, Wuhan as well. And how does it differ working uh, in the UK technically and culturally, um, drawing from, for example, some of MAKE's eco-conscious schemes uh, using materials with high eco-credentials such as the Gateway Building. Um, is this something that's being achieved in China? Yeah, certainly. Well, our aim is to deliver the same kind of quality of buildings, the low energy ideas, the same uh, in China as, as we are doing in the UK. Uh, so from that point of view, the kind of make is, is exactly the same in both places. Um, and to achieve that, I think, well, some of our projects we're also taking, you know, looking at what's being done in London um, and, and how we can apply that in China. So, for example, one building, the office building in Chengdu that I mentioned, um, is quite related to some work we've been doing in, in London as well. So our big Broadgate scheme, which is, uh, is only actually 35% glazed, the rest of it is solid, highly insulated, highly reflective, very, very low energy. And that's been translated into the Chengdu Tower, which is similar, it's only 30% glazed, 70% solid, insulated, um, to keep the solar, solar gains down, to keep the energy side of the building actually in check. And what are your thoughts on up-and-coming architects in China versus emerging architects in the UK? Well, I think the design scene in, in Beijing is very strong. Um, the cultural life of Beijing is very strong anyway. The art scene there is really lively, uh, contemporary arts, theatre. Um, so the design scene is all part of that. So it's a very exciting place to be for young architects, I think. In that respect, I think it's more, it's more that it's similar to London, in that it's also true here, really. Um, so both places you have that kind of excitement. Um, and the architecture schools and universities in Beijing, are, there's some very good schools there. So we've been able to attract some really good young people to come and join the practice. Um, and that's, that's been brilliant for us. But I think the pace of work is the, the, most, the most obvious thing to talk about. The, the, the projects do happen much quicker. Um, so, for example, the pavilion we worked on was uh, around seven months from when we first started work on the project to the completion of uh, construction, uh, which is very fast. So for us to try and achieve the same sort of interest in the design, to do something new every time, that's, that's a real challenge, but that's something that we, we always want to do. Mm. Um, so I think that would be the main thing. 
Yeah. It's a nice problem to have. Yes, yeah. it's not a bad thing. No. Whereas in the UK, you know, seven months, you wouldn't, you wouldn't even have got started, <laughs> let alone finished. That's right. <laughs> Talking on economy, China's economy is, is supposedly slowing down. Um, there is continued rapid development in first and second tier countries, uh, cities. With this in mind, what are your views on the prospects for architectural firms based in China over the next decade? Well, I think things, things should be very good. I think, as Ken said before, it's a kind of relative slowdown, essentially. Um, but I also think that the over the last few years, because things have been growing so quickly, there's a tendency to um, to build, just to build lots of, of buildings very quickly, whereas now there's slightly more emphasis on the kind of quality and people competing in terms of the design. So, and the awareness, especially post Olympics in Beijing, I would say, of design is really, really good. Um, that kind of raised the level of everybody's interest in architecture and design in general. Mm. Um, so I think that's that's something that's really strong in China now, actually, this kind of awareness of design, doing interesting new things. Because when you arrived, actually, it was the Olympic year, wasn't it? When you, yeah, 2008. exactly, right around that time. Mm. And now we're involved in the Olympics in the UK here, yeah. um, so quite nice. So. Yeah, we've done, we done the handball arena, the, now called the Copper Box for the Olympics, which we're very proud of. Um, and we have, you know, we have other sports projects as well. We've actually done some sports work as well, haven't we, in, in China? Yeah, we worked on a, a sports complex near Chongqing. Um, that was quite interesting for a swimming pool and arena um, and some smaller venues. It's all kind of set within the landscape. Fantastic. So would you urge young up-and-coming UK architects to venture out to Beijing? Oh sure, yeah, why not? Absolutely. Yeah. And work for us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Thank you very much, John Patek, Ken Shuttleworth. Thank you. Thank you.